Welcome to a spoiler review. We have two more models coming up for Malifaux, a doomed duo. So we have Host Ducat and Alloway Echo. Art-wise, they look pretty cool. Painting-wise, that looks easy. I'm getting mixed vibes of voodoo and vampire stuff. It honestly looks like a really cool model. And as I understand it, there's a creepy thing that is coming out of his umbrella that is attacking in close combat. Now these two models have both the keyword of Dua and Vastral, which ultimately means that there's something for English Ivan and Lucas McCabe. Host Ducat basically has both keyword abilities in here, Loaded Supply and Unalightment Affairs. So if he starts his activation within a corpse or scrap marker, you may draw a card. And he gains positive flips from Distracted, Friendly Fire and Concealment. While this Umbra model has Born of Shadows, which all Umbra models basically have, together with a Terror of... Why... Wide Shirin, eh, something. Terror of Wider Shines Lane. That's how you say it. And it is a really interesting ability. Let's start with it. After this model gains fast condition, it may immediately end that condition to place anywhere within six inches of its current location. We might as well mention quickly that Flickering Shadow, bonus action, 3 inches, no flip, remove target shadow marker, this model gains fast. Which means that it's basically a leap. But fast is something you easily acquire with Lucas McKay because paid with trinkets. At the start of this model's activation, if this upgrade was attached this turn, this model gains fast. The playstyle of Lucas McCabe is basically to toss around these trinkets on various models and give them fast. This means that you could gain fast, do a leap instantly, and then later down that road use its bonus action to eat a shadow marker somewhere and gain fast again, converting that bonus action into a leap. So on this turn you could basically make two leaps, or well, teleport leaps here, and then just two other actions. The problem is that if you're playing Vastral, you're playing Lucas McCabe, Explorer Society, it's a rather tricky thing to actually generate these shadow markers, because this thing is not generating any shadow markers. However, Yin Bakura is a very popular, very good model that you usually pick up out of keyword whenever you play Explorer Society in general, and he has the ink tip dart, enemy only, target suffers some damage, then drop a shadow marker in base contact with the target, stat 5 against defense, gun 12 inches. So with this guy and some good cards in your hand, it's easy to send out some shadow markers here and there. He also has Unalightmently Affairs, and this model has Born of Shadow, so the area within 1 inch of this model is treated as Concealing Terrain. So if Jin Bakuru actually shoots at a model that is engaged with this guy, then Jin Bakuru will be suffering from Concealment and Friendly Fire, so he's flipping 3 cards on his attempt to hit with that Ink Tip Dart. So you're going to succeed. We also have the defensive ability Combat Finesse. When this model is targeted with an attack action that is melee, the attacking model duel can't be cheated. That is really good. Eat your fill, he heals too whenever he kills something in close combat. Lash out with a minimum 3 damage, that is really good. Cruelty trigger once per turn, which balances the thing out. Take this action again. So you could potentially make like 3 attack actions with this thing. Or four, like you could give it fast and instead of teleporting it, just attack more. Claustrophobia, this attack ignores concealment, target suffers two damage. If the target is in concealing terrain, it gains staggered. And if you have a ram in your hand, you can sheet that in and rip and tear trigger. Take a close combat action targeting the same model. This action receives a plus to its duel. So with the correct cards in hand, you can make one claustrophobia attack and then follow up with a lash out on the same action. Let's move over to this 7 soul stone, Host Ducat. Forever Doomed, this model treats any black jokers it flips or sheets as red jokers. That's actually quite good. So if you have that black joker in your hand, which sometimes happen, here's a good way to get rid of it, or use it to something good. Like it converts into a red joker. But also, enemy models treat any red jokers that they flip or sheet in 
oppose duels with his model as black jokers. The reason they gave him this ability is that lore-wise these two models are doomed and they're putting a flip to the doomed. He is incorporeal and we already mentioned these two abilities. Attack action, fan edged umbrella, we talked about that one, stat 5. Now this is interesting and this model may have any one model within one inch of the target gain distracted one and then target suffers 2, 3, 4 damage. Pop in trigger, place this model anywhere within 3 inches, siphon life and useless trinket, you can drop a scrap marker but only if you attack an enemy player and that's a way to gain the looted supplies trigger. I want to say this that sure but ending your activation dropping a scrap marker and at the start of the next round you're drawing an extra card, sure. But the key thing here is that what you can do is with fan edged umbrella, round one you can move all up your models a little bit forward, stay clumped up really close to each other and then use a charge action on your own model. You can then attack Mr. Mordrake, that is immortal more or less, and then make a pulse one inch away, give all your models distracted. That's good, because you basically gain them focus. You don't even need to actually attack Mr. Mordrake because of Black Mirror. When this model would gain a condition, it may choose a friendly model with this ability to gain that condition instead if able. So you can send the distracted that Mr. Mordrake gains onto English Ivan, who also has unalignedly affairs. This model treats negative flips from concealment as positive flips instead. So suddenly you can give English Ivan two distracted. And then you can use stick to the plan to later heal up that hurt model or heal it in some other form. It looks a little bit strange attacking your own model but it's a big pulse of focus. No it's not focus it's distracted but it works the same. He has a shooting attack that's very good because once again he suffers positive flips from concealment instead of negative flips so it's really good to actually have ranged shooting attacks on dua models and draw out secrets drop a ski marker into base contact with the target that's good tactical action healing energy target heals one two three and you have an inbuilt tome trigger drop a destructible shadow concealing shadow marker into base contact with the target and the crazed this model gains distracted so he can give himself distracted that they can use later as well bonus action dark bargain yes that's great stat 5 t and 10 so you need a 5 target friendly only target suffers one damage and may take the interact action i really think that dark bargain fits perfectly on a doomed model but we're building a really good setup here on a really good sequence so you charge which means that you're combining a walk action and a distracted pulse action into one action then you can dark bargain something hurting it even more and dropping a making an interact action then healing energy to heal that model back up and drop a shadow marker somewhere and that shadow marker can easily then be consumed by alloway echo to gain fast we talked about how we're going to create shadow markers when we're playing lucas mccabe so that we can give this model fast, but we already mentioned that we can play both of these models in Lucas McCabe. So here Lucas McCabe can generate shadow markers and gain fast to this model quite easily. But healing energy also has a reach of 8 and his Derringer has a reach of 8. So you can heal one of your friendly models and you just need a 6 because the tome is inbuilt, drop a shadow marker and boom that friendly model who might be in combat with one of your enemy models or just need to draw a line between them basically, you can gain positive flips for concealment and positive flips for friendly fire. So you're easily generating three positive flips with this daring and shooting attack against enemies. And that's going to increase your chance of drawing out secrets as well. So you want to send this into close combat because of combat fitness and it's very durable nine life it's very tanky it has concealment so it's very hard for your opponents to shoot at it and then you use your healing energy to heal up that model and just making it stay alive dropping shadow markers that this thing can consume so you're gaining that tank cleric dps combination that sometimes is very good in world of warcraft but we need to take a look at english ivan again his bonus action stick to the plan other friendly duo model only, this action ignores range and loss, target heals 2 and may take a bonus action. 
And this bonus action is actually really good, Dark Bargain. Giving you extra interact actions is actually quite good. And there is a model that can actually utilize that quite efficiently, Ava. She has Don't Mind Me, this model may take interact action even while engaged or if it has taken the disengage action, this activation. She also has Secret Passage, so she can really travel long distances into a key position where you need to be to interact, just take the secret, mis secret passage, then you take a walk action, you're in position, and then this guy can make a dark bargain to make that model interact. And if you need to interact even more, you have a stick to the plan to make this model take the dark bargain action again. So we talked a lot about how we're creating bonus flips with this ability, even though you're playing Vastral, Lucas McCabe. But what about Looted Supply playing English Ivan? Now, truth be told, we don't have that many ways of dropping scrap markers in this crew. If you're playing Vastral Lucas McCabe, you have a Corpse Curator, and this is giving you infinite access to Corpse Marker, basically. But truth be told, it's quite hard to consistently have scrap and Corpse Markers with this model. Now, we do have the useless trinket on his attack action, if he attacks an enemy and gets the tome, so it is possible. But I think Looted Supply will basically only come up if you're playing against a crew that is normally creating a lot of scrap markers or normally creating a lot of corpse markers. So sometimes it might happen. In general, these two models brings a very interesting kind of playstyle. They're very mobile. They come with a lot of utility. Dark Bargain is great utility. This guy can both generate a lot of distracted to your models and he can shoot and he can heal. Yeah, he comes with a big package while this is very durable and can punch really hard. I think they're gonna be a great upgrade for both Lucas McCabe and English Ivan. And lore-wise, I don't know that much about them, but they do look pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little short model review what these two models can do.